In this experiment, you will use sublimation, air-sensitive chemistry, and aromaticity in order to form a compound called ferrocene. Begin by placing 0.75 grams of finely ground potassium hydroxide and 1.25 milliliters of dimethoxyethane into a 5 milliliter reaction vial equipped with a spin vane. Quickly cap the vial with a rubber septum. Next, flush and sparge the vial with nitrogen for one minute. The gas lines will be prepared for you in the hood. You can confirm the gentle flow rate and check that the needle is not clogged by placing a needle from the gas line into a beaker of acetone. The gas line should generate a continuous stream of small bubbles in the acetone. Next, place a 22 gauge needle through the septum of the vial to act as a vent. With a vent needle in place, push the needle of the gas line through the septum and allow the gas to bubble through the reaction vial. Carefully insert the needle further into the vial and into the liquid. After bubbling the nitrogen through the liquid layer for one minute, remove the gas line needle first before the other needle. You should keep this needle for use in the next step. Stir the mixture with a magnetic stirrer. In a second 3 milliliter reaction vial, add 0.35 grams of finely ground iron 2 chloride and 1.75 milliliters of dimethyl sulfoxide. Quickly cap it with a septum before flushing and sparging it with nitrogen for one minute. After removing the needles, you should shake vial 2 vigorously in order to dissolve all of the iron chloride. While you are shaking or vortexing vial 2, you can use a syringe and needle to add 0.3 milliliters of freshly distilled cyclopentadiene to the vial containing the potassium hydroxide solution. Be sure to expel the air from the syringe before adding the cyclopentadiene to the reaction mixture. Allow the vial to continue stirring and note any changes in color as the cyclopentadienide ion is formed. Wait 5 minutes, then push the needle that you have been using for a vent back through the septum to relieve any pressure that may have built up. Using a syringe, obtain 0.25 milliliters of the iron 2 chloride solution from vial 2 and add it to the reaction mixture in vial 1. At this point, all iron 2 chloride should be dissolved. Continue adding the solution from vial 2 in 0.25 milliliter portions over a 10 minute period, stirring the vial continuously. After all of the iron 2 chloride solution has been added, rinse vial 2 with 0.25 milliliters of dimethyl sulfoxide and add this to the reaction vial. Continue to stir the vial for 15 minutes and allow the reaction to come to completion. To isolate the ferrocene, you will need to neutralize the excess potassium hydroxide. Prepare a 30 milliliter beaker with 5 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid and 5 grams of ice. In a hood, pour the dark reaction mixture over this mixture. Be sure to stir the contents of the beaker thoroughly in order to dissolve and neutralize all of the potassium hydroxide. Next, vacuum filter the orange ferrocene crystals using a Hirsch funnel and wash the crystals well with water. Remove the crystals from the funnel and press them between two sheets of filter paper in order to further dry them. Finally, you will be purifying the ferrocene by sublimation. Before assembling your sublimation apparatus, Gently warm the bottom of the sidearm test tube in order to remove any residual moisture. Place the centrifuge tube plus gasket in the sidearm test tube. The bottom tip of the centrifuge tube should be 1 to 2 centimeters from the bottom of the sidearm test tube when it is inserted. Next, you're going to place ice water in the inner tube only after you have turned on the vacuum. Holding a microburner in your hand, Gently apply heat to the bottom and sides of the sidearm test tube, causing the ferrocene to sublime. As it sublimes, the purified product will collect on the cold finger provided by the ice-filled centrifuge tube. Continue to heat until all of the ferrocene has sublimed. If the solid starts to melt, remove the heat briefly and then resume heating again. After the ferrocene has been heated, use a pasture pipette to remove all of the water and ice from the inside of the centrifuge tube. Allow the apparatus to cool to room temperature before disconnecting the vacuum. Carefully remove the inner tube with the o-ring still attached, taking care not to jiggle the tube or cause the sublimed crystals to fall back into the test tube. Finally, collect your product, weigh it, and determine your percent yield.